Alright, I'm sure by now you guys have seen the E3 trailer that PUBG brought to the Microsoft stage yesterday. It was less than two minutes long, but it really did give us a lot of information to go over. And there's a couple hidden things in there that I want to go over in case you missed it, just in case you didn't notice it yourself. Um, some exciting things that are coming to PUBG that were actually previously unannounced before. Now all of this is going to be for Xbox and PC. I had some people asking me, are you sure this is going to be Xbox? Um, are these dates actually for Xbox? And yes, I have confirmed that on Twitter, uh, the dates shown in this trailer are for the Xbox version of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. So I'm not actually going to play the trailer again. I'll have a link in the right hand portion of the screen right now if you want to check out the trailer. I posted it yesterday really quick on my channel just so I could get it out to you guys in case you didn't watch E3 or in case you don't keep up on this kind of stuff. Um, some pretty exciting stuff came out so I wanted to share that with you. Um, obviously that, that video, like all my videos right now, are not monetized or anything like that, so I'm not trying to infringe on any uh, copyrights or anything. I just wanted to share that information with you guys. So you don't have to sit through the whole trailer again here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and break it down for us step by step. I'll pause it whenever I want to talk about something, and then we'll move forward from there. So this, this trailer kind of tries to tell a story, I guess, how, how everything started and where it's going in the future with this game. It's very action-packed. Probably won't see a lot of this stuff going on when you're actually in the game, but it is a very nice trailer after all. Alright, so here's where we're going to start seeing some pretty cool stuff here. So right here, so first and foremost, you can see here in the background Sandhawk, which is the island map codenamed Savage that was previously tested on PC, summer of 2018, and yes that date is meant for Xbox. So in the summer of 2018 we will be getting the island map and it will be on the live servers at that time I imagine. Um, I'm sure we'll get it on the test servers first just like we got Miramar on the test servers for about what, what seems like a month or a month and a half, I'm not exactly sure at this point, I forget. So the first day of summer is actually June 21st, and it will go until September 22nd. But here's your confirmation, we're going to be getting Sandhawk in the summer of this year. And then right after this, I'm going to pause it again, because something very different for any kind of PUBG game that you've seen so far um, is about to happen. So right here. So that, that missile-like projectile coming up from that bus up there. Um, it actually comes down and it bounces off the ground and, and flies past the character. Now, it, it's not confirmed at this point, but that definitely looks a lot like an RPG. So if we want to watch that again, let's go ahead and watch it. So we'll watch it in real time here and then we can go back and pause it again. So watch up from that bus up there. Here it comes, it bounces off the ground and skips. Some people thought it might have been a grenade launcher, some people thought an RPG. Definitely looks like an RPG to me, but that that's just what I've seen. So, um, new weapons, new modes. Um, I don't know if a lot of these things will be in the main game, or if that's just going to be a special event type of thing. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, here again, also on Sandhawk, you see a flare going on into the air. And recently the PC had um, some special modes where there was a flare gun, you shot it up in the air and you either got a couple weapon crates, I believe, or an armored vehicle. So this is just another mode that they can play, um, special events on the weekends, things like that. So those are going to be coming to Xbox. This is just confirmation of that in my eyes, that we'll get the flare gun event, um, and then another event here that's going to be playing here soon. So let's keep going through here. All right, right here. So you can read that on the parachute. War mode. So if you guys aren't familiar with war mode, um, it's basically a team deathmatch. You drop in with a limited amount of players. Uh, you have a certain amount of players on your team, and you have a certain amount of enemies that you have to face. And basically each team is trying to get to a certain amount of points. So when you knock a player, I believe it's one point, and then if you finish a player, it's three points. And then um, you have to get to a certain amount of points to win the match or before the time runs out, see who has the most points wins. It's definitely a more relaxed version of the game. Uh, and that being said, it's, it's definitely more fast-paced. 
and combat driven but as far as the intensity of the match it's it's more laid back um, game where if you lose I don't think it's really going to matter but this is going to be something that's great for people that want to practice the game like me and many others you'll drop in with a random set of weapons uh, and then you'll just go at it you'll just try and kill people but the main difference is when you die you don't have to wait five more minutes to get into more action there's respawns in this mode so you can die as many times as you want you'll come back within 30 or 40 seconds i believe you'll drop in again with a either the same set or a different set of weapons and you'll just keep trying to take people out and keep trying to survive and get your team the amount of points that you need to win but more importantly this mode is going to be a good practice mode for a lot of us that need to hone our skills with every different type of weapon get down the aim in this game compared to others because it is very hard to get into um, so war mode is definitely going to be something that I'm looking forward to a lot. So you can see these guys running in all together. Alright, so now we're going to stop it here in just one more second. Right here. So this guy. Now, this isn't Rainbow Six. This isn't, uh, you know, some other type of tactical shooter. This is PUBG footage and the guy has a riot shield. Now this is something we've never seen before. I've heard rumors of this. But we've never actually seen it, so this is the first gameplay that I'm aware of that we've actually seen the Riot Shield in action. You can see it actually taking damage. I do wonder if it's like a, a body armor where it, it takes a certain amount of damage and then it breaks and then you don't have it any longer. Um, I imagine it has to have some kind of property like that. I also wonder if this is only going to be a, a, a mode type of thing or an event type of thing, or if this is going to be something that's going to be a drop in the game or in the crates. I imagine it's going to be war mode only, or special event mode, maybe. I don't see this coming to the Battle Royale game, but I could be wrong about that, obviously. Um, but just from what I feel and what I've, you know, kind of figured out, I don't think this is going to be in the actual game. It's going to be in the events, or it might be in war mode, but I definitely could be wrong about that. It's just how I feel. We'll just have to wait and see. So you can see a couple shots of this guy with the riot shield. And there's another one. And then they wrap it up with the with the biggest surprise of them all. There's definitely been rumors of this and we really haven't heard much of it since uh, a couple months ago, I believe. Uh, the rumors were pretty hot at that time about it. But we have winter of 2018 and there's snow in the background and we see a character walking in a snow map. And so that tells you just about everything you need to know. Um, there's going to be a snow map in the game, winter of 2018, and that has been confirmed for both Xbox and PC that that snow level will be there, winter of 2018. So obviously this game on Xbox needs to be optimized as much as possible. The crashes need to stop, the frame issues need to stop. Um, that needs to be the first priority for the developers to get the game right before adding these things. I think that's why we're still behind on PC and we probably will be. Uh, PC might get the, the snow map before us still, um, but we should be getting it winter of 2018. As far as Sandhawk is concerned, it looks like we're going to be getting that in the summer. It's still a pretty broad time window that they can deliver that in, so it gives them some time to kind of perfect the game or at least get it as good as possible before they go ahead and release it to Xbox. Now I can just see the comments now. They need to get the game right before they do any of this stuff. Why can't I just get a game without crashing before I get a new map? Things like that. And that's all great and well. I agree. I agree 100% that we need to have this game in the best possible version that we can get before we add all these things. But if we didn't have news like this, if we didn't have the promise of maps coming to the Xbox version of the game, or if we didn't have these rumors um, saying that we're going to get a snow map, um, saying that we're going to get all these things by the end of 2018, then the excitement for the game will kind of dwindle. And especially when the game's in kind of a rough state, um, people are going to lose interest and then they won't have anything to look forward to. So if you don't have anything to look forward to in a game and you're having trouble with it, um, you're getting frustrated with it, you're just going to you're going to give it up and you're not going to think twice about it. With this, it puts it in the back of your mind that, okay, the game's having problems right now, I'm crashing all the time, there's frame issues still, the game's been out since December and I still can't get 30 frames per second, like what the hell is going on, um, what am I supposed to do, why am I still playing this game? Well trailers like this give you hope, 
and they keep something in the back of your mind so that you're always thinking, man, later on this year, PUBG is going to have Sandhawk, and we're also going to have the snow map, and we're going to have war mode, and we're going to have all these different events. It's going to be all these different things that we can do. Maybe, just maybe, by that time they have some things figured out to where the game is stable, it's not crashing all the time, the frames aren't a complete nightmare, and they have it in a, in a way that we can actually enjoy it. Now I'm having a ton of fun with the game, I know my friends are as well, we're playing well, we're, we're just having fun playing even if we lose, we're enjoying our time while we're playing the game. And so seeing a trailer like this on the Microsoft stage at E3, um, a two minute spot, it's definitely a big thing to be on the E3 stage uh, for Microsoft this year. And they really delivered, I think they gave us a lot of interesting things to look at, uh, a lot of interesting things to look forward to. And I know a lot of the PC players are really excited too. I've seen some things on Twitter. Uh, they were watching the Microsoft press conference. They saw this. Um, they know that the snow map is coming later on this year and it's nothing but excitement. But I would implore you to just kind of remember what you bought. You bought a game preview title. Um, all these things need to be fleshed out. Obviously, the game cannot stay in this state and be successful, so they need to figure this out. They need to fix the crashes and all the bugs and all the frame issues. But looking ahead, PUBG has a lot of promise. It's doing something that a lot of the other Battle Royale games can't even touch with all the different maps and all the different modes that they have. And I think it's just a great direction for the game to go in. So I'm really happy with this trailer. I thought it was really cool. They introduced a lot of new things. And they gave the Xbox players just a little little glimmer of hope and a lot of promise to kind of look forward to for the rest of this year. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely give it a like. And if you want to see more content of PUBG and stay up to date on everything PUBG Xbox, hit subscribe. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time, I'll see you later.